And we're back. Now we're going to go on to the lighter side of the things. And we're going to go with the PS5 reveal presentation that happened earlier today. They showed us what the console looked like. And I personally like it. Uh, what do you, what'd you guys get from this presentation? Corey. Yes. Okay, I was hoping you'd call me first. Um, I absolutely loved it. I was... Um so happy that they uh, showed off Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Spider-Man is one of my favorite games of all time. I think Miles Morales is an excellent character. And that and that just got me hyped from the get-go. And I don't know how the rest of the presentation was, but I was already hyped for it. So that set the stage. Um, a lot of great games. They had a good mix of games that you already know, like Ratchet & Clank, Horizon, uh, uh, Gran Turismo. Um, and they had a lot of games that, are brand new, you know, that you're kind of looking forward to. God, uh, Godfall, um, uh, yeah, that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. But there's a lot of good variety of games you already know and you can be excited for and games that are brand new and you can look forward to. So um, I was very excited for it, very happy with the presentation. For me, um, nothing really moved me much, like where I was like, oh, hell yeah, this, like as far as the other games were considered. But Seeing Spider-Man Miles Morales solidified my first day purchase of the PS5. It only took for that one game for me to go, yep, I got to have this first day. Because exactly. a lot of times on new consoles, you know, I kind of waited out a little bit. Usually, you know, they have to work out some of the little, you know, issues that, that they have with them. Do update after update after update when the games first come out, when everybody's getting their first play in. So I'll take a little time. And usually we don't get... To me personally, we don't get those great epic games on the first announcement and the first release of the councils. Usually yeah. they, they put out a couple okay games and maybe one game that's kind of like a little stronger and then we'll wait it out. And then that's when the, the, the better games start displaying themselves. But the way that huh, Spider-Man looked on that intro, man, and just the fact that they decided to go left. I mean, we saw... Uh, a lot of the things with Miles um, unraveled in the last Spider-Man game, but my thoughts were they were just going to go into Spider-Man 2 most definitely and that we probably get him as downloadable content or we get, like, you know, half story with him or playable parts with him, but I didn't expect him to go completely uh, cannonball in the water and give us a complete Miles Morales game. It looks incredible. I'm overly excited about it. My only regret is I just can't drop the money and get it tomorrow. <laughs> now, I, I got a question for you. Do you think it's a full, like, a full title? Because initially, yes, I, I'm thinking I think it's, that's a full title. I'm thinking it's a side story, a very big one. Maybe, like, uh, Uncharted Lost Legacies, where they put, like, a good percentage. You know, they already got the map built, so they can put a pretty big story. But I don't think it's their – it's not Spider-Man 2, you know? Yeah, they said it wasn't – they announced it wasn't Spider-Man 2, but we have a big announcement for you. So okay, I, so it is, you're thinking I it is a big... It, yeah, the way I considered it, that this is a whole different game. It takes off where Spider-Man once took uh, right. left Earth with Miles' story. Like, so I feel like this is a game just revolved around Miles. I don't feel like this is an add-on. Right, okay, cool. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Jeremy? Huh. Um, I mean, am I excited for it? Yeah. I'm pretty excited for it, as you can obviously tell. I'm more definitely more excited for <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, you're than, tone. Yeah, I'm definitely more excited for that than the Xbox Series X. You know, um, I saw yeah, it had a bunch of good announcements, a bunch of interesting games. I'm sure we'll get into some of the games we thought were interesting, but um, I I appreciated that unlike the Xbox presentation, there was more gameplay shown. Uh, yeah, not not everything almost had a CG trailer, but there was gameplay shown for a lot of these games. Um, where the Xbox one, it was just gameplay shown of one or two things and most of it was cgi trailers of third party games they haven't done first party yet i'm glad that playstation did show and highlight first party games i mean which with the first three to four games they showed were spider-man miles morales gran turismo 7 and ratchet and clank those are three playstation exclusives right so and they all look good i'm not a Gran yeah. turismo fan so i won't be getting that but the other two look great i'm gonna buy them day yeah. one yeah um so is this kind of like solidified for you then PS5 over Series X, like without a doubt? Yeah, because I have a I have a PC, so I don't need an Xbox Series X. 
Oh, for me too. Uh, PlayStation Five. It's really not even a contest. I, I don't think I'll be buying an Xbox until what it's did a little you, cheaper. What did you guys think about the look? I didn't hate it. A lot of people said it was pretty sweet. I'm like, it looks like a modem though. It just, it was. I wasn't like all over the hill, but I, I don't hate it. It looks like a modem, but it looks like the dopest modem you could possibly buy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the modems I can't afford. <laughs> Um, I liked it. I um, I think it's a huge step up from PS4, which is kind of just like a, a black box, and yeah, PS3, ugly. which was George Foreman grill. Uh, <laughs> PS2, PS2 was pretty sexy, but this one looks good too. And I, I kind of like how they went with white from the beginning. Yeah, looks nice. Yeah, well, it has the kind of blue hue or blue highlight strips where the vents are yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going behind my TV no matter what, so I'll never see it. <laughs> um, now they announced two different consoles. Um, they announced an all digital one. Does that kind of do anything for any of you guys? Uh, me personally, no. I'm I'm more old school. I want okay. my disc. Yeah, so, that's what I was gonna say. I'm a physical guy. You're a physical guy too. I'm one of those guys that still goes and buys like DVDs, and people are like, I'm <laughs> like, let's watch a movie, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, getting the DVD. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> this we have is Netflix. a movie. <laughs> it's like. So, you know, I, I, like, I like having a physical copy in my hand. I'm it, all for the digital. Like, especially if it's a little bit cheaper, you know, 50 bucks even, all mm, digital. Different. I almost went all digital this gen. You know, Jeremy, you're a PC guy, so you're you're already all digital, right? Um, Well, yeah, kind of. For consoles, I usually like to have physical. The thing is, is that the physical for it would only be for the 4K Blu-ray, really. And sure. I already have an Xbox One S that has a 4K Blu-ray player in it. So I don't really need the disc version in order to play 4K Blu-rays if I wanted to. Right. Um, also, I don't really own a lot of 4K Blu-rays. I'm kind of like Cordero. I'm super old school. When I want to go watch the remake of Stark Sea and Hutch that stars Ben Stiller and, 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 and Owen Wilson, uh, I go ahead and grab the DVD and I load it has, in there. Has that so, happened a lot? <laughs> not not with not with that particular movie. That's oh, not okay. the movie you grab the trailer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just check it, man. Yeah. Um, David, so man, I'm you probably, you... I'm probably more, but just to go along with you, I'm probably more digital with it. Okay, especially if it's cheaper. Yeah. You know? Now, David, you haven't really said much here, man. I know. We all know. Yes. So go ahead, talk about like, it, man. I, I got, I, I got my no, story. No, he's got a game on there that he wants to shout yeah. from the mountaintops or from so the village. I, I, I watched the whole thing, and as the presentation was going on, nothing was really catching my eye. Everything looks good. It looks like you know they're gonna have a lot of sales, but just nothing and then this game showed up and it was looking good it was looking great i'm like okay finally a game i'm interested in and wouldn't you know it the end it shows it's freaking resident evil i'm like of course it's resident evil like i can't i can't get away from it like i thought i was gonna get into a new series new game no no it was resident evil 8 now that's fine i'm excited i was gonna get resident evil 8 anyways so now that i know that i like it it's it's a sealed deal. It looks pretty sick, man. Trailer was excellent for it. I think they showed off like a werewolf looking dude. Which yeah, yeah. that's that's new for Resident Evil, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You wanna know what's weird? You wanna know what's weird? It's the first time because I think it it begins with this is the end of his story, and they saw all that stuff. What I first started, what I thought it was originally was I thought it was a sequel to the Order 1886. Because that was supposed okay. to have been a PlayStation exclusive console seller. It bombed, but it had some potential there. So when I saw it kind of taking place in this older town and the wolf in like, you know, the werewolf and everything, I'm like, oh, okay. So they're coming out with a sequel with it. And then I saw the guy that's in Resident Evil 7 and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And they said Resident Evil 8 The Village. Um, I will admit that I have not been interested in any Resident Evil game ever until ever? this one. Until this one, though. That trailer was so dope. The vibe no, we're and the energy right there. We're not gonna we're not gonna scroll past that. Hold on. We're gonna <laughs> you never sat down and gave Resident Evil Four a chance, right? That's the best one. Yes, it's, it's really Mr. good, Mister Mister Cordero. I will I will retort that I did not say I never played. I said I've never seen a trailer or something that made me interested. Uh, okay. I have I have played them. I played Resident Evil Two for the Nintendo sixty four. 
I played Resident Evil 4 on Nintendo GameCube. And by played, I mean the first 10 minutes. And by... <laughs> and and that's it. Look, here's the thing, man. I'm not some chump that's gonna sit down and let you scare me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not down with that. Okay. You want to scare people? Tons of them out there. Go scare them. Me, you're not scaring me. Okay. Don't get scared. Shoot them. <laughs> nah. Nah. See, you, you, you get scared before you can shoot them. That's the that's what happens. Resident you know? Evil 4 is a masterpiece. And I stand on that. Please. Yeah, I had played that. I, I had played that for this guy last year, and it, it still held up. It was a great game. If, I beg of you, Jeremy. I beg you, please, just play that game all the way through. And if if you do not like it, if you honestly, out of the bottom of your heart, if you beat it, if you play it all the way through, and you tell me you didn't like it, I will buy you another game for your trouble. Here's the <laughs> thing: it's not that I question whether the game is good or bad, right? I just, I just don't want to be scared in dark places. Okay, <laughs> that's just really what it comes down to. Like, I, like I played. Can't scare uh, me if I don't play it. Uh, yeah, like, but like I've played, I've played and beat. Um, what was it? Uh, not, not Dying Light. I played and like Dying Light, but uh, whatever. I forgot what it was. Uh, the the zombie game where you're on the island well, and it's nice and bright. Yeah, that's not scary. Dying Light. No, I wasn't scared playing Dying Light. A lot of people get scared playing Dying Light. That's interesting. See, here's the thing, though, because in Dying Light, I can parkour, right? If I can jump <laughs> around, then I feel like I got a little bit more of a chance. But with Resident Evil, I got a fixed camera, you know, and I've got, oh, you got to shoot one to two to the head to get them down. But it's ice, but it's like a weird camera view, so I don't even know if I'm aiming. Most of the time, I wasn't even aiming at them right. I was a little bit <laughs> off. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to keep missing shots, getting my confidence going down, and you're going to scare me in dark places? No, nah, this isn't for me. So <laughs> I haven't I haven't really returned, but I will return for eight though because that that trailer was incredible. So okay. yeah, it looked great. Agreed, agreed. Uh, right. I just want to highlight one other okay. game real quick. Go Man, ahead. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. There was this oh, game called fine. Little Little Devil Inside. You guys remember seeing that trailer? It yeah. was like a storybook type thing that looked I don't know. It looked incredible to me. It kind of looked like a survival game with like a really cool art style. Um. Thought it looked real good. Hitman 3, awesome. Uh, Demon Souls remake by Blue Point, who did the Shadow of the Colossus yeah, remake. Yeah, that's big. That looked, I, I couldn't even tell. I thought it was Elden Ring at first. I'm like, oh, this is, okay, yeah, this is from software. And it was, but it was Demon Soul, and that should be pretty cool to go back to. It's been yeah. a while. Yeah, definitely. Um, and Horizon, you said you were excited for. That looked that looked excellent. Yeah, for me, that's, that's the big one right there is Horizon Forbidden West, because I just love the world of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, the mechanical half creatures, half robot thing. The world, uh, the way it looks, uh, Aloy as a, as a protagonist is great. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited for that one. Uh, I have, I do have a question for you guys though. Uh, you guys saw the trailer for Jet: The Far Shore. My question is, is it the most pretentious game trailer you've seen since No Man's Sky? Wait, which one was that again? Oh, that was the one where they were over the water with Jet, the spaceship. The far offshore, where oh they have the God. ambient music going on for 74 hours. And oh it's just God. a little yeah. ship yeah. flying yeah. over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it reminded me of Interstellar a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Inter Interstellar, the, uh, the, game. the video game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, but another game I'm actually interested in, Stray. Stray, you get the play. Pretty cat. good. That yeah, pretty good. You're going around this seedy underworld where androids and robots have replaced society. You know this kind of Kowloon themed, uh, Kowloon themed place, and it looks really interesting, really cool. I mean, who doesn't want to be a cat? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a. Uh, I'm kind of excited for Sackboy, a big adventure. I don't oh know if yes. You guys, have yes. you guys ever played Little Big Planet? My no. children love it. Like, it's awesome to build stuff, but they also put in, like, a little story mode, and you always kind of want more of that story mode, and this is exactly it, and I think I'm going to buy it and play it with my wife, because it looks like a 3D platformer, a full game, so. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm kind of excited for it. They love Little Big Planet. Yeah. That's very pretty. I mean, yeah. I think Sony did a good job. They hit on a bunch of different genre of games. They mm -hmm. talked about a lot of their big hitters, and they threw right. out some new games, so. They were, they were very diverse. They sold it. I mean, it took forever. Like I you know, said, I don't, for me, it was a couple that stood out more than others. Some that was like, okay, 
but the home run hitter for me definitely was Spider Man. Yeah. And my other home run hitter is going to be, uh, well, we got about two weeks before we get to see uh, the big display of Avengers. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that should be a good one. Yeah, that's what and, uh, I'm definitely like waiting for. I don't, I don't want to take credit for this, but I did a could you please on this a couple of weeks, a couple of levels ago. So, could you please on Sony revealing oh, yeah. the PS5? So yeah. without me, who knows when they would have right. did it? Yeah, who knows right. how long yeah. it would have took, Corey? Exactly yeah. right. <laughs> hey man, good work. I was Thank thinking you. about that too. Thank like, you so much. <laughs> two of the games we mentioned that we would need to see in order to think about buying it, they actually revealed Spider-Man and Horizon. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 